So, from one balance to another. Let's go. Carried by a BB playing FDR, not good enough. You should uninstall the game. Yeah, I know, right? I know. I know. Another game, try to break 400k. Yeah. Well, if the enemy team was a little bit better, just a little bit better, and lasted a little bit longer, I could have went and continued farming that Conqueror. And with another one of his heals, I would have broke 300k easy. <clears throat> It's simple, 22 playing kills versus zero. Okay. Have you tried Italian Baby Marco Polo? I haven't seen it in action, what's your opinion? I think I played like only a couple of games. Only a couple of games, but it's a kind of a ship that apparently needs to stay in the back and use that eye. So it can go fuck itself, in short. Like th those kind of ships just don't interest me that much. But from, from what I've seen from other people, and how other people play it, it's like you have to stay in the back and snipe. That's kind of annoying, really. Can you show the skip bomber in your team? <clears throat> in my team? Oh. Well, there he is. AFK? No. That's a weird ass looking camo. That almost looks like a little chick in there. Little. Um, those are dive bombers, or are those skip bombers? I guess we're about to find out because he's doing a pre-drop. Is he doing a pre-drop? I, okay, maybe that was an actual drop. What is the cooldown for reload booster? <clears throat> uh, minute 46, minute 47. Eighteen hundred people and no trouble. All hail Twitch. <sighs> don't fucking jinx us. Don't don't jinx us. Are skip bombers okay? Well, I don't know. I never got to try them. Because Wargaming doesn't allow CCs to test anything uh, publicly anymore. Like, we can do it in our free time, but... I'm sorry, I don't have the time to test ships in free time. Maybe, maybe, if I knew that it would make any difference... Testing these ships, maybe even in my free time, I'd do it. But considering I know how much this is actually valuable... So, am I gonna get any freaking support here? Like, hello? Curfers going backwards? What the actual flack? Are you kidding me? Guys! Hello? You gotta be kidding me. Okay, so that guy just decided to park. One balance to the other. World of balance. They have th four battleships on this side. Four out of five battleships and a cruiser out of this side. Holy shit, and my guys are like, no, 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 we don't really want to go there. 
Nobody took any caps. <laughs> could you tell that there's something wrong with the game? Chat, could you tell that there's something distinctively wrong with the way that World of Warships is designed to be played in the current meta? Could you tell? I'm guessing you guys need more time and, and data to figure out what it is, right? That's gotta be it. That has got to be it. <clears throat> Never thought it'd be a DD in this thing. But how times change. That is the only cap that's been capped in five and a half minutes. SPR 101 ST cheered. X 500. No one is taking the caps? Sounds like a certain FDR main. Cough. Flambino. Cough. Needs to play their CV. I took the caps in a, in a carrier, which is more than 23 players here can say they did. So, yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. I need to remember to do this. And we got a first casualty. My Republic. Somehow. Oh, fuck. Back to port. Oh my god. Back to port. Ah, <laughs> you fucked up! How do you fuck that up? Oh my lord, you had one chance. You had one chance. Oof. Do, 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 Don't worry, guys. Only 12 and a half minutes to go. No rush. We have the cap. We have the cap in our possession. Come on already. Is your CV the Sailing Robin? No, the Salty Dragon. Dancing with the devil.
I can't believe this is still the only cap anybody took in this entire match. <laughs> Jesus. The current meta is not even deserved to be called meta, honestly. This is just pathetic. This is just sad, really. Hey, War Dog, welcome back, dude. This is really just sad. Two battleships down. They lost a Didi and a cruiser. Considering that was their only destroyer. Okay. Oh, shit got serious. Conquerors are pushing. Conquerors are pushing, chat. It's not a joke. It's serious matter. Serious business. I think I should go and cap a B too. What do you think, chat? Doesn't seem like anybody else is interested in caps. So might as well give my team some, some lead and, and force the enemy into, into action, right? If somebody told me that I would be playing this ship as a destroyer, I would tell them, nah, not really. Some might say there's a thin line between playing a light cruiser and a DD, but, you know. But that I would be playing on Okinawa and capping? No. That is just no. I would tell them, if I live to see that, and live to tell the tale. I'd be interested to see how that game went. Cap C while you're at it as well. Well, if this shit keeps up this way, I might. I just might. Honestly. But I think now the enemy team is kind of pushing. So if I'm lucky enough... I might get a... Okay. That changes things. Oh, does it? I want to say I might get away with one more cap, which is B. It takes a lot to actually cap it. But now that Nevsky is in, it's gonna go twice as fast. Boom, boom, instant plane. Okay. We lost three battleships, Yoshino and Shima. Oh, he's gonna raid her. He's gonna raid her any second now. What are the odds of him not having that radar? Or pulling the trigger on time. I really need to get the fuck out of here. Anti-aircraft 
Come on. Okay. Two out of three. And Henry, out of all the ships, is going to be the one to cap the third one. Right then. Okay. <laughs> Does anything about this match make sense? Monty down. Equalized. Good. They should just remove caps and play Task Force versus Task Force Deathmatch. This is pain to watch. What, you think without the caps it'd be a less of a pain? It'd be literally worse. Because nobody would be going forward. Why would you ever push? Just stick together and, and shit talk in chat. And this is literally the most balanced thing about Austin. The fact that because of Deadeye Meta, if it deserves to be called Meta... Oh, fuck off. There's simply nobody pushing forward. Nobody pushes forward and then uh, you in Austin simply can't do a lot of damage because nobody set foot in any of the caps entire match 16 minutes i haven't seen anybody in the enemy team setting foot in the caps how are you supposed to do two three hundred thousand damage with this ship you can't And that's literally the only reason why you can't. Sixteen minutes, no caps? Not only they didn't cap, they didn't even try, dude. Nobody even set foot in the caps in sixteen minutes. That's the thing. What's the concealment of thunder? It's less than 12.7, isn't it? So I need to let him get closer. Okay, he fired. <laughs> wow, where did your HP go? <laughs> where did your HP go, big boy? Oh my lord. Yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> Next. Ah, oh, they lost from public as well. Unless they kill someone. And doesn't seem like they will. Game is going to be over. 20 minutes. Sorry, 18 and a half, and their, their ship is about to touch the cap. And... There you go. 18 minutes and 43 seconds before what I've witnessed, what I've seen. I know Shima was lurking around B, but I don't think he, he got in. Almost 19 goddamn minutes before the first enemy ship set foot in the cap. Any of the caps. Healthy game. Good balance. Gee, if only Wargaming had this group of dedicated players that they could talk to and uh, 
you know, to help them balance the game and stuff. But that would require them to actually understand and accept the fact that they might not have the balanced product. Maybe. It's funny how I played two most ridiculous games in a row. FDR and Austin. I've done pretty good, right, in both games. And I got beaten by Slava <laughs> and Thunder. <laughs> two other specimens of, like, you know, really good examples of balance product. Jesus Christ. What else? What else?